After Brutus' speech, the crowd is definitely on his side. Antony then begins his speech with the intent to convince the crowd that contrary to what Brutus says, Caesar is not to blame. It's interesting the way Antony sets up the speech and the beginning he gets the attention of the people and builds trustworthiness by calling them friends and letting them know that he is not here to praise Caesar. Antony then begins to contradict Brutus by saying what Brutus said is doubtful. The most notable part of his speech is the number of times he says, for Brutus is an honorable man. As he goes through the speech and uses logic with this and it ends up by saying Brutus is an honorable man and as a sarcastic saying. It makes three good points along to discredit Brutus's claims of Caesar's ambition. Caesar played ransom, which means he was generous. Caesar wept for poor people, which means he had compassion for his people. Caesar refused the crown, which means he had humbleness. The ways, the way in which he asked record questions is important too, because they make people think. Lastly, he kind of pulls a pity card, which a pity card, and weeps saying, in a minute, he needs a minute to go because his heart was in the coffin for Caesar. He makes people begin to mourn with him and side with him.